Hi guys, Darko here. In this video I will show you how to set properly LG's B6 OLED TV for PC usage. First thing you need to do to get maximum color resolution, meaning the sharpest text and all details on screen, is to change HDMI name to PC. You do that by pressing input button on your remote control and go to all inputs and here you click edit icon. By default it will be in this first option, HDMI 1, 2, 3 or 4, whichever you are using. And you need to select PC. After that you will get 444, either Full HD or UHD resolution depending on what you're feeding. Next step is to go to this quick options menu, all settings, and I selected for this case Expert Darkroom. Expert Darkroom, aspect ratio 16 by 9. And now let's go inside Expert Darkroom. Oh, LED light, this is luminance of the screen. Depending on how you like it, you can increase it or decrease it if you want dimmer picture. For this environment, for me, 80 was just right. Contrast 85, brightness 50, horizontal and vertical sharpness at 0, color 50, tint 0. And in expert controls, most options are disabled, color gamut normal, edge enhancer off, color filter off, gamma 2.2. And in white balance, I didn't touch any of those settings, only color temperature needs to be set to warm 2. Color management system also without modifications. And now let's go to picture options. As you can see in PC mode some of the options are fully disabled. Black level for 0 to 255 full range you need either auto or high. Selecting low will crush details and I do not recommend it. So auto works just right. Motion I care is off. True motion is disabled for PC usage. And this is it. This will make LG's OLED TVs to work great as big screen PC monitors. Just one note, uh, OLEDs tend to get image retention, so I recommend that if you use it for extended periods of time displaying desktop like this one, after that for sure put some live TV or other dynamic content so that pixels can, you know, stretch out and get back to normal shape. Also, good thing is inside settings, sometimes to do this OLED panel settings and clear panel noise option. So read about it and I recommend you do it periodically, basically it all depends how often you use it in PC mode. That's it guys, thanks for watching, if you have any questions please ask me in comment section below. Bye!